The autocomplete control, as used in K2 smart forms, is basically a text box that has the added functionality of providing suggestions while you type text into the control. For this capability to work, the control is bound to a smart object which, at runtime, filters data in a drop-down style list by using a contains operator when you start typing the value. In this lesson, we will learn how to add an autocomplete control and configure it as a field that allows users to select an expense claim category in a smart form. I already have a view open for editing in K2 Designer. I also set up a smart object that's available in my environment for expense claim categories housed in a SQL Server database table. With that in mind, I'm going to assume that you already have some knowledge of working with K2 smart form view elements and creating smart objects. You can find the autocomplete control over in the toolbox menu tab as shown here on the left side of the page on my screen. I'll drag it over to the design canvas and drop it into one of the open cells of the table that I set up on this view. I'll give it a meaningful name so that it appears and makes sense in the rules editing area for others that may support the application later. From here, we need to connect this control to a data source that will provide the lookup options that appear for auto-completion as a user types into the control. I'll go down to the data source grouping of properties and click on the ellipses in the type property. In the window that pops up, I'm going to use the Smart Object option as a data source. But make a note here, you also have the ability to create your own static list if your need calls for it. You can select that option and add items to a fixed list in the configuration window. I'm not going to do that for this demonstration, but just know that it is there as an option. I'll select the Smart Object from the window that appears for this property. The expense claim category smart object is currently under the SQL Server service category as it lives in a demonstration database we have available. You will more than likely have this set up in a more meaningful way in your own environment. I'll set that and click OK. K2 has helped us out by setting the method to the default list method option from that smart object. It also sets the value field to expense category ID and if you'll notice just a little below that, it also sets the display field to expense category name. The display field will be the field that contains the text you want to be visible for your users, while the value field is what will be stored back to a smart object when a user makes a selection. I won't need to change any other settings here, so I'll click OK to move on. You can reference the documentation about the autocomplete control on help.k2.com for more details on all of these properties and options. Notice the settings we just made are shown here in the properties section now. The other properties are fairly standard settings similar to other K2 controls. You can then go on to edit the rest of the form from here with other controls. You can also configure layout and form behavior with rules to meet the need of your project. When done, click Finish to save the view or form. Also, be sure to check your view or form in so it's visible to users when you're ready. To demonstrate what this control does, I'll run the view by clicking on the Run option here in the middle of the screen. Then, to test it out, as I enter text into the box, the control will provide me with options it looks up in the Smart Object data source based on the text that I enter. 